To my beloved brethren and God's holy people across the globe, welcome to another program in the series, A Word to the Nation broadcast. I am Pastor Carol Wilson, your humble servant, and I encourage you to spare a few minutes out of your busy schedule and allow the Lord to speak to your hearts. Greetings and salutations to my Word to the Nation family. Today we explore the profound depth of divine love, examining our response to the sacrificial love of God demonstrated through Christ. The theme that encapsulates our discourse today is responding to God's love, embracing the call to love beyond measure. The Bible speaks volumes about the unmatched love of God, a love so profound that it led him to send his only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, to lay down his life for us. In John 15, 13, Jesus himself affirms this truth. No one has greater love than this, to lay down one's life for one's friends. Such love surpasses human understanding, revealing the depth of God's heart towards us. Firstly, let us acknowledge that our response to God's love is rooted in understanding and accepting this immeasurable grace. It is not merely an emotional reaction but a conscious choice to recognize and receive this love into our lives. Romans 5, 8 reinforces this truth. But God demonstrates his own love for us in this. While we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Our response begins with acknowledging our need for God's love and the redemption available through Jesus Christ. Secondly, our response to God's love is showcased through our love for others. 1 John 4.11 highlights this beautifully. Dear friends, since God so loved us, we also ought to love one another. When we extend kindness, compassion, forgiveness, and selflessness to those around us, we reflect the very nature of God's love. Our actions become a testimony to the transformative power of divine love working within us. Our response to God's profound love find its tangible expression in our love for others, embodying the essence of 1 John 4, 11. Dear friends, since God so loved us, we also ought to love one another. This verse encapsulates a profound truth the measure of our understanding and acceptance of God's love is mirrored in how we extend that love to those around us. It's not merely about acknowledging God's love within the confines of our hearts, but it's about the overflow of that love reaching out to encompass others. When we embrace compassion, kindness, and forgiveness towards our neighbors, irrespective of differences, we reflect the very core of God's boundless love. Our lives become a testament to the transformative power of God's love, radiating a beacon of hope and acceptance to a world longing for genuine love and connection. Thirdly, our response is marked by a life dedicated to serving and glorifying God. 
Jesus in John 14, 15 emphasizes this truth. If you love me, keep my commandments. Our love for God is not measured by words alone, but by our obedience and commitment to his will. It involves surrendering our desires and aligning our lives with his purpose. Our response to the immeasurable love of God is undeniably reflected in a life wholly devoted to serving and glorifying him. Echoing the truth emphasized by Jesus in John 14, 15, if you love me, keep my commandments. This isn't a mere gesture of adherence, but a profound reflection of our gratitude for the love bestowed upon us. It's an acknowledgement that our love for God isn't confined to mere words or emotions, but resonates in our actions, aligning our lives with His will. When we commit ourselves to live in accordance with His teachings, displaying obedience, humility, and devotion, we honor His love and exemplify our recognition of His infinite grace. This dedication translates into a purposeful existence centered on glorifying God in all facets of our lives, seeking to mirror His character and bring honor to His name through our thoughts, words, and deeds. Beloved friends, regardless of your background or belief, I implore you to consider this truth. God's love transcends barriers. It reaches out to every soul, extending an invitation to experience a love that surpasses human understanding. Whether you're a seasoned believer or someone seeking answers, the call remains the same to embrace and respond to God's love. So here is the call to action. Let us respond to God's love by acknowledging it, extending it to others, and living lives that honor and glorify Him. Let us open our hearts to this transformative love and allow it to permeate every aspect of our being. In conclusion, may we all embark on a journey of responding to God's love by becoming vessels of His compassion, grace, and mercy. Let our lives echo the selfless sacrifice of Christ demonstrating love that knows no bounds. Remember, it is through our response to God's love that we truly reflect His nature to a world in desperate need of love, hope, and redemption. Thank you for tuning in today. Let us embrace and respond to God's love and may His love be our guiding light in all we do. Blessings to you all. Amen.
Thank you for joining us today for a Word to the Nation broadcast, B195. This is your brother and friend, Carol Wilson, saying, Have a happy Sabbath, a fantastic day, and may the God of heaven bless you real good. Peace and love to you all.